I found Anna. She crashed through the roof of some pre-war bunker, bumped her head, and was unconscious for a while there. Luckily, she seems all right now. In the meantime, there have been some new developments at the Aurora. The Colonel wants me back there ASAP. Artyom, help us here. The old man won't let Katya and Nastya come with us, even though Katya told us where to find a passenger car in great condition. I... Uh, we... We have to go back now, I guess. Where... Where would you go? Those fanatics would eat you alive. Well... Maybe they... I don't know. I mean, sure, it's not just about the space. We might have to fight our way through the bridge, and even after we do, we don't know what dangers lie ahead. But still! And I told him I could help. I'm a medic. I also told him about the bridge, that it could be lowered. Yes, I even told him about the carriage in the train depot. We came all the way here in it. It's very good. We prepared it for the long trip. Uncle Artyom, please, let us come. I will be good. I will help with everything. I will. Oh, Nastya, quit buggy, Uncle Artyom. Oh, don't you worry, Nastya. Uncle Artyom will talk to our commander and sort it all out. Wow, Uncle Artyom is more important than that scary commander with metal legs. <laughs> oh, darling, you can't say that. Well, Uncle Miller is the chief here, but he does listen to what Artyom thinks. Doesn't he, Uncle Artyom? Uh, I was going to go and get that carriage myself, but no dice. Leaving your post, enemy court-martial, you know the drill. So now, it's up to you and Anna to persuade him. Will you take us away from here, please? Of course we will. Don't you worry. Hi, Artyom. Alright, welcome to the crew. Thank you. Won't let you down. Hey, Artyom, see how it all worked out? Come here, Artyom. Have a seat. Look, we have an opportunity to cross the bridge without an assault. There are trade caravans going up the river, and the bridge dwellers do business with them. So, disguised as such traders, we will infiltrate the bridge and lower it. Katya says it still works. They won't be able to stop us if we move fast. And should they try, we'll cross it no matter what those fanatics think. They want blood, they will get it. So now, we only have to wait for the traitor's boat. Colonel, sir, we can't just leave them here. They will be eaten alive. Sipan, did you ever try using your head? Do you know where we are going? What we are going to face on the way there? Where, pray tell, are they going to sleep on the Aurora? Atop the coal crates? We Spartans can handle it. But for a woman with a six-year-old daughter, no less, this is unacceptable. I'll give them my bedroll and move into the stove. You will fall asleep and get your throat cut the next day you'll get guard duty after trying to sleep there. Still, I, I know we can't leave them. Let's just collect that carriage Katya told us about while we wait. We can't leave the child here. And anyhow, how long are we going to sleep in turns for? Are you starting that again? How? How are we going to collect that carriage? I'm not taking the Aurora there. Oh, you don't need it. I have a rail car hidden in the terminal. It can tow a carriage like nobody's business. Artyom and I can go get it and, and bring the carriage back. No way I'm letting you go. It will take us both till morning to finish the repairs, and I can't handle it myself in time. Okay, okay, have it your way. I'm done playing the monster here. We get that carriage. We take the civilians with us. Artyom, will you handle this? 
Listen, Artyom. If the caravan is sighted, drop everything and rush to the port. It's our best chance of traversing the bridge. Thanks, Dad. Katya and Nastya will be so grateful. Here, Artyom. It's a breaker for the rail car. It won't run without this. She's a real babe, Artyomich. No two ways about it. We went to hell and back, here and I. So much stuff we hold, so... Many tight spots she saved me from. Look, Artyom, since you're going to the terminal, hear me out. It's quite a distance away, and look, if you go at night, there's less of a chance you might run into bandits. They stay at their camps when it's done. But it's not gonna be easy either, since more beasts come out, and there are also electrical anomalies. The fanatics call them the demons of electricity, so you should think about your options before heading out. Artyom, Duke is on a mission in that area. He's keeping tabs on the bridge. Reception is bad there. We get mostly static from him. Anyway, if you meet him, he'll update you on the latest developments in the terminal. I bet you've conspired with Anna and Stepan. I care for those two no less than you. But we don't know if what's ahead is any better than the fanatics. I guess we'll have to live and see. Great job persuading the old man. Check out my setup here, Artyom. I finally got everything the way I wanted. A proper workbench. With storage space for all my tools, and some to spare. You can clean your weapons and make ammo for them here, just like with any other workbench you might find. My gun rack is only available here on apples of every gun you find, and you can exchange them whatever you want, always in their best working condition, oiled and shiny like new. <laughs> you won't have to install any attachments again, though. I am going to make you all competent gunsmiths eventually. Listen, Artyom. I have something for your TR. You can try installing it. Use the workbench. Well, I won't keep you here any longer. Anna, thank you and Artyom for helping us. I don't know what would have become of us without you. It is a cursed place. And that's Silentius. Don't thank us before it's all ready to go. It all hangs on Artyom now, so wish him luck. Of course, God bless you, Artyom. And you, Stepan, thank you. Oh, it's, I don't even mention it. Artyom, Uncle Artyom, are you going on a mission? I just wanted to ask, there, where the big tanks are, if you find my teddy bear, just in case you do, could you bring him home? A demon took him, a flying one. It was scary. They live there. 
It took Daddy to each children. <sighs> I miss Daddy so much. I wanted to go visit him, but Mom won't let me because there are electric demons too. I'm telling the truth. They come out at night and they light up. So pretty. And scary too. A bit. Artyom, I haven't really thanked you properly for saving me from that stupid cellar yet. You know, I didn't even get scared when I fell. Because I knew you'd come and save me no matter what. Thank you, my love. Now, go. Come back soon and stay away from the hotspots. Artyom, uh, are you going to the terminal? You might meet Duke there. He's got an observation post set up in a carriage near the bridge. Ask him for a sit trap before going in. One more thing. That tower to the right, see it? There's someone over there. I think it's the bandits. They're watching us. Uh, well, we heard someone playing guitar over there. Those guys can't play for shit. Stepan wanted to take the instrument from them. They were butchering the melodies so badly. So, won't you liberate that guitar? Make an old friend happy. Stepan is a wizard with a six-string. He plays some mean classic rock. Good luck, Artyom. Hey, 
Turn the whole place upside down, people. You never know how many of them there were. Help! Help me! I beg you in the name of the Sarfish, untie me, please! <sighs> Thank you, thank you. Ah, these devils called me on my way to the house of the fish. I had a penance from my father, Celandius, and so I got about halfway, and then this got me. Oh, I, I see you're one of the heretics. But I tell you anyway, there is a cash here on this island. There is a device. But we can use it. It's a sin. But you could. I'll just have some rest here before I go back. I'll keep praying for you to the starfish for the rest of my life. It might save your soul. Simon, the bridge is done for. The fanatics have taken over. I was prepared to give them a quarter of the cargo, but they wouldn't even hear me out. Wanted me to leave my diesel first and fuck that noise. I'm not pushing the platform with a fucking hand car for 200 clicks. We're that deep in the red, though. So I'm sending search to you with this message. Sell the diesel to the brothers. They were offering good cash for it. And get that ferry. Or a self-propelled barge or a tugboat. Do you understand me, Simon? No haggling. As soon as the others hear about the bridge, any piece of shit that floats will be worth its weight in gold. But we could still bounce back if we do it fast. Get to it, Simon. Time is money.
Hat ja. Back already, Artyom. Well, hello, my blood brother. Didn't see me, huh? The others don't either. I'm basically part of this scenery now. I heard you were headed to the terminal for the rail car. Then let me fill you in. The terminal can only be entered by water. Luckily, there is a dock with a boat nearby. Left there by the fanatics, it seems. Inside, there are just those, uh, um, humanimal mutants, or so it seems. See that gas station? It's a bandit hideout. They ambushed the fanatics. These guys seem to be drawn to the turn. What? The bandit caught three of them on my watch. Look at the building over there. Bandits keep captives there for ransom or something. But they sure go to town on the poor guys. I asked the colonel for permission to go in three times. But no dice. I understand why. But we have always protected common folk from low lives like these. So I'm having a hard time staying put. Oh well. See those ruins? There's a bandit camp there too. They have a sniper. I saw at least one scope flashing from the roof. So I wouldn't advise an open attack. The bridge is in full lockdown. None of the armed dudes ever show themselves. They definitely expect us to attack. So there is no reason to be concerned about them now. Hey, it's your choice when to move out. But the bandits should be easier to avoid in the dark. In any case, I'm going back to my post.
Something to chew on right about now. What the hell didn't you like about this thing? And he goes like, like huh? I dumb woman. Man. You're like some dude on the game. That was a good laugh. But what is a statement? They are cold. Like, you know I'm just head down in captain? Why don't they, really? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like, you know, there's just fucking few captains around here. Sure. Well, if one of the people dies, they get fed to the catfish to take them to heaven or something. So, if they ate the fish, their buddies would never go to heaven. Whoa, that's deep. I thought there was just a crowd. <laughs> Well, they look like they're just a cop, but that glass of theirs has some balls of steel to get so close to that... Well, this just doesn't feel right. right. We should all just go back home, I say. Totally. We frolic like boy scouts here compared to their ship. That's tough. Well, this just doesn't feel right. We should all just go back home, I see.
Guys, there's the bitch! So you're trying to beat it now, when you got me on your case. Ain't happening, you bitch. Hey, who the fuck? I see the fucking bastard! Guys! We have to find the bitch before he runs out on us for good! Come the fuck you out, bitch. you failed cop stain! I'm finding you anyway, so don't make me any matter! Where are you, you motherfucker? You miserable fuck think you can get away? Well, I'm sure as fuck gonna rain on your parade and nab your ass soon! The bitch is hiding. Good. Just stay that way. Ah, fuck you! Yeah. We're getting oh, fucked down here! Down. Fuck this shit, guys! Guys, guys we're getting we're fucking drowned! Like royally! Down there, boys! The bitch is got one of us! I'll just keep my head down for now. You fucker are gonna pay for my bail. Hey guys! Let's get the fuck up before you run! He's here!
Is that? Well, you know what that means. Well, it's your 